Hi everybody, Pastor Tom Vanderbilt from Mount Calvary Lutheran Church uh, here with you today. And uh, as you can hear, my my voice is a little uh, it's a little off. I'm a little scratchy in my throat. Um, I like many other people, I suffer from seasonal allergies. And the best thing that I can do to take care of those seasonal allergies is to take a little pill each and every day. Uh, this is a little, uh, this is a little 230 milligram pill. It's, that, is, that doesn't even seem right. I can't imagine it's even that much. Um, but this is just a tiny little pill. And uh, if I take a pill like this, just a tiny little pill like this, uh, it really helps me with my allergies. Um, just there's some times where that pill can't keep up, and that's where we're at today. So if my allergies get really bad, then what I do is I, I find one of these. I find a, a cough drop, and I and I put it in my mouth and and uh, you know just kind of uh, leave it there as it dissolves and and uh, helps to soothe and and comfort my throat. And and I bring this up because you know compared to the other things that I'm going to eat today, these aren't anything. When I compare this to the breakfast that I had this morning, um, these are these are just infinitesimal. I mean, they're just tiny. They're, they're nothing compared to the, the eggs and the sausage that I had for breakfast this morning. But these two little things can still make a huge difference in my day. All right, so why am I talking about how little things like this can make a huge difference in our day? Because I want to run you through uh, some of the things that we have provided for our families here at Mount Calvary. You know, sadly, we're not able to have Sunday school and life classes like we want. Um, with concerns over COVID-19, we just didn't feel comfortable coming together in, in uh, classroom settings to do that. So this last Sunday, September 27th, we, uh, we sent one of these bags home with everybody, a bag that looks something like this. Some are a different color. And inside that bag were a number of resources intended for children and families here at Mount Calvary. And I wanted to just run through those resources that are in those bags uh, that we're providing to you like a little pill, just a little something that you can do to keep your faith strong during this time. So let's see what's in there. The, the first thing I want to show you is this book called Little Visits with Jesus. Uh, it's intended to be a, a devotional book for, uh, you know, our younger members, uh, preschool and the like. Uh, it's got stories in it that are going to have to be read by an adult, but it's just a story that you can read through, maybe talk about, but at the very least, there's a, there's a, 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 a one-sentence prayer at the end or a, or a one-sentence prayer prompt to get you to... Um, to talk about some of the things that happened or that you read in the story. So this is great for our younger, our younger members, our younger kids, uh, a chance for them and parents to, to read through this together. This is not daily. Uh, there's about 20 of these per month. So there's a lot of forgiveness with this too. If you miss a day, it's okay. You're not on a set schedule to get these done in any, in any time. And even though we're only going to be uh, suspending Sunday school for hopefully only three months, this is good for a year. There's 12 months worth of, of lessons in here. So we hope that you'll continue to use them uh, for many months and days to come. Also inside these, uh, inside the bags, you might find arch books. Uh, these are thin little books where uh, some of our folks at Concordia Publishing have taken stories from the Bible and they've sort of paraphrased them in a way so that young readers can follow along. So I've got uh, Jacob and Esau, and I've got Jesus calming the storm. These books are filled with wonderful pictures, and as I said, they're written in a way that, that new readers can, can learn to read the scriptures for themselves. They're written in uh, very brief sentences, they're written in rhyme, and so uh, little kids can, that are learning how to read, they can read the Bible just for themselves, one story at a time using arch books. Um, these are just two examples. Not everybody's going to have the same arch books. So if you've got a little reader out there and they are, they are just devouring these books, you might reach out to other families in our congregation and see if you can switch and swap and, and uh, find other stories that you can read together as well. We've also got, as, as a resource in these bags, we've also got a big book called Portals of Prayer for Kids. Now, these are daily devotionals, and there's one for every day of the year. These are intended for just a little bit older kids, 
Uh, maybe that, maybe more of the first grade through fifth grade, I would guess, um, kind of in that age range. And uh, again, they may need some help reading the story, although maybe not, uh, depending on how old they are. And then at the bottom of each of the pages, you'll notice this yellow circle. And in that circle, it has uh, not only a prayer that the family can pray together, but there's also a journal prompt. There's a, a question uh, that is designed to uh, get kids thinking about the story that was shared, the Bible lesson that was shared, and then to process that by journaling. Um, journaling is something that I like to do in my own personal uh, walk with Jesus. I find that I'm able to process things a whole lot better with a pen, uh, with a pen in my hand and a, a blank piece of paper in front of me. And that might be the same for your kids too. So we've given you this resource that has a journaling prompt in it so that kids can try their hand at journaling, pun intended, um, so that they can give it a shot for themselves and maybe that helps them to interact and process God's word on a deeper level. And that's what we're really after. Uh, the last resource that we have available is a little paperback called My Devotions. Now this is intended for 8 to 12 year olds. This is intended for uh, some of the older kids. And again, these are daily devotions uh, these are daily devotions, and these are only for three months, the three months from September through November. Um, and again, you have a couple of verses from Scripture. You have a story to be read, and there's a prompt for journaling, uh, you know, a question to be answered in a journal, and then finally a, a couple of sentences in prayer. These are intended for 8- to 12-year-olds to maybe use on their own, but parents feel free to look over their shoulder or ask them what they're learning or what they're studying. Um, as they as they read through this and journal this. I mentioned how much journaling is important to me, and so to encourage kids to journal, we've even put a little journal in there. Might be hard for little hands, and, and we understand that, but this is just a spiral-bound notebook uh, that's got pre-printed pre -print, printed pages. Easy for you to say, Pastor. Um, and they have a place for them to put the date on there. And there's even a little pen that's included. So... As we encourage kids to journal, we've given them just a little journal that they can use to answer some of the questions that are in there. We've also included a little rock uh, that's, that reminds us to take time to pray every day. And uh, I, had a, I, I had a friend who used to have a prayer rock. And the way he would use his prayer rock, this is only a suggested use, you don't have to do this. But the way he would use his prayer rock is he would put it in his pillowcase uh, every morning when he woke up. So every morning when he woke up, he'd put it in his pillowcase because there'd be many days where he would forget to pray. And so as he would put his head on the pillow, this rock would hit him in the head and he would be like, there's a rock in my pillow. Oh, that's right. That's my prayer rock. I'm supposed to pray every day. And then he would say his prayers before he went to bed. He would then take that rock out of his pillowcase and he would throw it on the floor by, by his bed. That way, in the morning, he would get up, and as he put his, swung his feet out of bed and he put them down on the floor, he would step on this prayer rock. And he would look and say, oh, that's my prayer rock. That's right. I'm supposed to pray every day. And so he would say his morning prayers, and then he would pick up the rock, and he would put it back in his pillowcase and do that each and every day. I'm not saying that you have to use this prayer rock in that way. You could just put it someplace that will remind you. Uh, put it next to uh, uh, put it next to your toothbrush in the bathroom. Put it next to your hairbrush, uh, so that those things that you do every day, you can put it as a reminder just to pray every day. Uh, so we give that as a little reminder as well. We also have a, another reminder to prayer. It's just a little card that has Philippians 4 verse 6 on it that reminds us not to be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request before God. This would be a great little bookmark to use in some of those bigger books that we've provided for you. But it's also a great reminder each and every day, every time you flip to that page for your daily devotions to remind us to pray, to stay, to stay strong. The last thing that we've got in these uh, in these bags for you is a little bit of a songbook. Uh, it's just something that we've made here. It's got words to familiar songs that you may have learned during life classes or Sunday school or vacation Bible school. As it says on the cover, you can you can use uh, YouTube to find people who are singing those songs. If you're not familiar with them, parents, uh, you'll find ways that you can uh, you'll find places where you can uh, where people are singing these songs and your kids can sing along with them. And you've got the words here in front uh, so that they can read along with the words or you can read along with the words as well. So again, these are all just intended to be just little things. 
just a little antidote that we take each and every day to keep our faith strong in this time when, the sing, when things seem to be so uncertain. Because you see, it's not the size of the pill that we take, but it's the size of the medicine that's in the pill that makes the difference. And that's what I would tell you about God's word. It's not the amount of God's word that you read every day. It's not the, it's not the quantity of verses that you read every day that's going to make a difference in your life. But it's the power of God that's contained in that word. And if you will just take a little bit, a verse or two, each and every day, uh, it's going to make a great big difference in how your day goes. So I hope that you'll use these resources in your family. Uh, I hope that you'll, uh, I hope that they'll bless you. And I got to give many thanks out to our board of education here uh, at Mount Calvary. This was a lot of their hard work, and I'm just the one who's comfortable sitting in front of a camera telling you how it all works. So uh, I, this had very little to, to do with me, and so much to do with our wonderful volunteers on our board of education here at Mount Calvary. So if you see those folks, be sure to give them a big thanks when you see them. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Peace be with you.